Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today I'm going to take a look in on my African night crawlers that are in these black tubs here until I get another bag system. Now I did feed them off camera a couple days ago in hopes that we might actually get a worm ball. Okay, let's take a look. Move some of the paper over. Nope, oh, alright, there we go. Got some baby oranges that I put in. Not baby oranges, baby carrots. And it looks like they're getting into it, but these are African night crawlers and they're just not prone to making worm balls. But you can see that they are getting in there. It is cooling down where I live, so unfortunately that just does mean that the African night crawlers are going to really start slowing down. I know that there was some conversation on one of the websites, one of the worm websites, about, you know, do you ever use your worms to kind of refresh your soil? And in my case, I do. I, uh, year over year, I will um, swap out the soil in my bonsai trees, and any of the fines that go through the 120th screen, I put back in the worm bins as sort of a, a refresh and then they will consume whatever you know dead roots there are you can see some of that here and they will turn it back into soil which I will then feed back to the bonsais so I know that there were some questions about that if you use the worms to refresh the soil or do you sterilize the soil in my case I take the soil that was in the bonsais that were outside and then I put that in the oven and sterilize it, but then I sift it, put the fines in here, repot the bonsais, add more worm castings to get the beneficial microbes going again, and then it all kind of comes back together. I let the bonsai trees be outside during the spring and summer and part of the fall until it gets to be freezing, and I don't, there's a lot of outside diseases and bugs I don't want in my house. So that's what I'm doing right now is refreshing all of that. So you can see here, this is some very fine um, cocoa peat, some diatomaceous earth, maybe some perlite. And I just put that in with the worms and they are happy to refresh it for me and give it some new life. Okay, so here we go. I got a little bit of a worm ball. And you can see how small the African night crawlers get um, once they've been in a uh, worm bin sort of system. Um, you know, when I first got the worms, they were as big as pencils. And now they are about the same as small red wigglers or blue worms. They don't... Um, they don't maintain that large size unless you feed them green and you're intentionally trying to keep them bigger. But that was a little bit of a worm ball. Let's turn this around and look at the corn. It does look like they're definitely making some progress here. Nice little worms inside the corn. That's kind of interesting. That core of the, the corn cob is really spongy. I don't think I've seen that before. They must eat that before I find it. Interesting. I've not seen that before. But they are all the way throughout the corn now. Let's see, I put an apple in here. And uh, if this was a red wiggler bin, you would just see that lousy with worms. But every time I think maybe that this bin's been taken over by a different kind of worm, I put something like an apple in there and they don't touch it. <laughs> so I know it's still African night crawlers. They prefer their carbon. All right, let's swap this out.
So here we are with here we are with the, the last bin. You can see more of the soil that I've been putting in there. Um, and you can see that the worms are busy trying to grow me some avocado trees. Kind of fluff them up here. I did put quite a bit of moisture in here last time. So it's still not as, I guess the underneath part is, is nice. It's a nice moisture level, but there is still a lot of this that is not what I would consider an ideal moisture level. So I'm going to have to hit that again, but you can see they're just making quick work of all this paper bedding, which is nothing more than junk mail and bills, etc. You can see there are one, two, three avocado trees growing in here. So I don't, I know that I put some baby carrots in here too, but I'm not seeing where I oh no just stuck my hand in it lovely all right so there we have it a little bit more of a, a worm ball to look at but look how tiny they are yeah it's it's pretty amazing um, that over the generations they adapt to their environment and this environment um, pretty much lets them get smaller and smaller. So this bag is certainly on its way. Not plastic in case I get questions when I forget to mention that these are, I don't know if they're made out of corn starch or what, but they're made to be compostable. It's not plastic. But they are taking, oh geez, six months to a year to break down. I don't think I'd buy them again on purpose. Um, knowing what I know now, unless there's another brand out there to buy that would work faster. But, uh, okay, so, anywho, that's the African Nightcrawlers for the day. Um, if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my worm family, please click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.